All right, guys, so I finally got this replacement kit here for the IPT60 handheld torch. Here's my torch. And this one, I accidentally broke the section that goes in here. There used to be a ceramic piece. As you can see, it's long gone there. And we're going to open this up, see what's inside. And it's a new body, all the internals, and we're going to remove the bolts on here, or the screws actually. Got some small Phillips heads on there. Now I bought this uh, rebuild kit on the 10th of April, and we are the 5th of May. Had a lot of delays with FedEx, something about their truck messing up something about the, the airplane being late tornadoes and a winter storm in Tennessee so either I have the worst luck or I should go buy a lottery ticket who knows So I don't know exactly where to start. If, so right now I'm just trying to get a feel of where things are going to go. This one right here, we're going to have to take off this uh, shrink tube. So we can put the female plug on here. We're going to have to loosen up this Allen key. All right, so we're gonna try to cut this hose clamp off. There we go. So we got that off. Now, real humid and hot. We got all the screws in here. We got the new clamp, the micro switch or trigger, whatever you want to call it. Which is on the top. So we got this part of the switch. I need a butt connector. So we're gonna go look for one. And you got the non-insulated and the insulated. So we're gonna use the backside here of these uh crimpers. could have replaced this part as you can see I had a new one on here uh, I went ahead and already crimped this so I'll just leave it like that so we have a little washer on here make sure we have that on I believe this one we just compress it between here and here. I'm gonna use my crimpers and hopefully I don't mess it up. Yeah, it feels a lot 
better there. And then this section, and that goes right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this about right here. Once again, we're gonna use a book connector, insulated side. And I shouldn't be rushing through this, but I'm almost a month behind on my stuff. Loop it here, like that, around this little hole. And now we gotta see if we can fit all this in here. the closest we're going to get this to seal like this. Go ahead and put like three screws in here. To prevent any issues, i got a new kit here. We're going to get an electrode, a 1.1 uh, nozzle. I think the ring is okay. The shield here is okay. And uh, I should have got the little tool. But anyways, the electro goes there. Then your swirl ring, followed by your uh, nozzle. And that should complete your torch setup there. I don't need the guide, but if I did, it's included there. So, got the wrong nozzle. Anyways, um, we'll go ahead and uh, put all this away, and we'll go to shots see if it works.